Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. In this video, we will learn about Asset Management CLI Part 2. We have recorded a Part 1 where we have learned about list, import and import status. In this video, we will learn about export, export status, export download and extracting the zip file. I am Ramanja from Informatica Global Customer Support. So Asset Management CLI is a standalone utility. You need not require any kind of license to use Asset Management CLI and you can use Asset Management CLI for software development lifecycle on IACS artifacts. So we'll learn about export, export status, export download and extract. Let us go to the demo. So this is a public GitHub repository link where we have the Asset Management CLI utility for various operating systems. In this video, I'll explain about the Asset Management CLI tool for Windows. So you download this and extract it. You will have the IACS.exe where the programs are written for. So open this in command line. I've already opened one. So if you see here, uh, let us first learn about extract. Let me add the extract details. So the format goes like this IACS where the file exists and what kind of operation that we are doing. We are doing the export and region where it exists. So if it is a US part, it would exist in uh, US. If it's DM hyphen US in your uh, URL, let me show that. So if you see DM hyphen US, so US is the pod. Suppose you are an EMEA pod, you would have this as DM hyphen EM. So you would have to provide the region as this EM. Username, password and uh, the zip file path where the exported zip has to be placed in. And log level is just information about that. And artifact is the option where you provide what object you need to export into this location. So here I am trying to export a mapping and you would have to provide the extension of it. If it's a mapping, you would provide it as D template. If it's for mapping task, you would write it as empty task. And if it for a synchronization task, it could be DSS. So based on that, I'll you will have to provide the extension of it as well. I provide a video a KB article where it explains about what kind of uh, extension you would have to provide so this is the artifact that i would be exporting and if i run this so if you it's written in export output if i go back to export output here you would see video.zip it contains the exported file so this is about export and let me just see. similarly we'll have export status which is let me copy the so again IACS is the utility export status is the operation region username password and log level info so the ID would be the export ID so in the previous call we have the ID right we can just use that and so ID would be the same export ID. You can either get it in the UI as well. If I go to my export. So yeah, the export ID would be this. So this gives the export ID and let us say you have already exported an artifact here from the UI but it exists in your export uh, my import export but you want to save it to your windows machine or you windows machine so you would have to run the pillow command which is let me clear the screen. Let us use the same ID that we don't copy earlier. So 
So ICS is the utility, export download is the operation, region, username, password, log level. So ID is the same export ID that you would see in the UI, which is this, uh, the URL, and I'm going to use the same. Zip file path is where you want that exported file to be saved in. So I'm writing it to export output and the file name is download.zip. Let's run this. So you come if you see here, we have download.zip. So this is how we download an already existing export based on the ID. And that is about that. Let us learn about the final command which is extract, extracting an existing zip file. So extracting a zip file which is which means that you have an existing zip file. Let me just open that. So existing extract import.zip extract so import.zip is something i want to extract it and uh, come back here ics extract log level zip file path where the zip file exists so this is where my zip file exists and uh, workspace directory is where you want the export the zip file to be placed in so if i open the extract and export it output extract and exported output let me remove this and let us run so if you see here uh, since it's windows it adds, adds another slash here so it's got the export extract of the zip file To summarize, we have learned about asset management CLI for export, export status, downloading an export and extracting a zip file using the asset management CLI tool. And as I mentioned earlier, we have to provide the extension which is dtemplate, dss, empty task, drs. So that is available in the KB article that I would be attaching in the description and the documentation for asset management CLI and the GitHub repository where it exists. We would love to hear back from you about our support videos on Twitter and support videos at the rateinformatica.com. Thank you.